There was a time in my life I honestly thought there, I would never know how to read and that, you know what, I just have to learn to, to live with the way I am. But that's ridiculous. You know, now I realize, wow, you know, it just uh, took a little bit of effort and um, the payoff has been huge, just huge. Like just on my self-esteem alone, I mean, just huge. As a child, as a young person going through school, I had a hearing problem. And they didn't catch it until grade six. And it kind of derailed my life because I never really got back um, to where I wanted to be. And I always got by. I could always sort of lie my way through life. But uh, when it came to you know, wanting to read something that interests me or read a book or something. It just, you know, I would try and then of course I would give up because I would just get fed up. And uh, so, you know, I just, I just, I don't know, I just dealt with it, I guess, just like everybody else does, which is, which is a ridiculous way to deal with things because uh, it's not only have I learned a lot by uh, learning to read and write, but I've also just, it's just made me grow so much. I mean, and, and, you know, like I'm, I've always been really good at math and I've always been really good at uh, the whole common sense approach to life in general, but that one tool I was missing, and I mean, let's face it, it's a pretty valuable tool. So, you know, it's, it's, just, it's just such a big part of our lives to, to read and write. I'm a custodian. I love my job. I get I uh, really enjoy it. I get treated really well, and uh, it's a lot of fun. I own a farm. I live on a farm. I have real self-esteem problems, and it's been really hard for me to meet people because I'm not outgoing, and I think a lot, I, I know a lot of it had to do with the fact that um, I was illiterate. So it just, I always felt out of place. So uh, one day I just, just really out of the blue, I decided that I was gonna I was gonna do something about this, and, and uh, I'm certainly glad I did too. I mean, it was uh, one of the best decisions of my life. Even though my reading isn't at the level um, of really good yet, it's it's really improved a lot. And oh, I mean, it's it's amazing. I always thought it was me, and and talking to all the ladies that work here and my tutor and, and all of that, I finally realized that it wasn't me. It's a stupid language that we, that we uh, you know, I mean, even now I'm still, I look at things and I'm going like, you just have to remember it. You can't even use the rules. And, and it's, uh, it's, it's been an inter interesting uh, lesson, you know. Oh, I was just paranoid. I mean, I felt like this, I felt like a freak. I really did. I came into this place and I was, one of the ladies had interviewed, like they do an assessment of you and I was just sitting there and I, and uh, you know, and you're kind of almost sort of apologetic because no, I don't, I don't know this and I don't know that. And, and it, it was, it was just very dramatic. But these people here are so easy going. They never, you know, they don't, they understand, like they totally understand. They've seen it a million times before and they understand what it's like to not be able to read and write. The staff here is so easy going and so patient. Oh God, these people are so patient. I mean, to be honest with you, I could, I could never be a tutor, not at this point in my life because these people have so much patience because they'll teach you something and then you know, two seconds later, you're stuck again, and, and, it, and they're just, it's okay, it's okay. I see these tutors in here, and these people are just like angels, because they're, they're so devoted to, to these people, and I've seen a lot of them, and they're, they're in way worse shape than I am, and, and they're struggling, but they're, they're, I have a lot of respect for these, these uh, people coming in here, trying to learn to read and write, because you could tell a lot of them have had a, a hard life and, and had bad, bad luck in their life. And the fact that they're coming in here is a real inspiration to me myself too. You know, I'm thinking this guy is in here and, and he can do it, then I can do it, right? So, and, and the, the, it's just, it's fantastic, these people in here. Uh, they could be doing other stuff with their lives, and, but they're not. They're, they're uh, 
they're helping these these people out and and I guess for the tutors it's it's a real high for them too to see these people who 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 like were struggling so badly and now they're like you know they're doing okay you know and then they've got a ways to go but they're doing okay and they're on they're on their their path you know and it's it's that getting on the path the starting of it all and sticking with it for for you know, three months or six months or whatever till you finally start to go, okay, I'm starting to understand this stuff. That's the key to this, to, to, to hang in there. And because the staff here is so patient, there's no pressure. There's never any pressure here. Yeah. And they will, all of them here will be the first to admit to you that, oh yeah, this, this is a crazy language we're trying to learn here. And, and everyone has this problem. Like, my tutor is, is a uh, used to be a teacher very smart lady and she she's constantly telling me oh yeah I have to you know think about what I'm writing or I have to look at the word and I am definitely seeing the light at the end of the tunnel and this this is we're talking about a really dark and long tunnel and I'm starting to see the light and 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 I am at the point now where I know I'm going to be able to read you know, I'm not looking to be a, a, an amazing reader, but I'm going to be able to read well. And that's, that's my goal, to read for pleasure, to read for, for, for information and knowledge and things like that, and, and uh, you know, be secure in what I'm doing, where in the past I, you know, <laughs> I just relied on, uh, I don't know what I relied on, I just got through things in the skin of my teeth, and that's not the way to go through life. Especially when you know this is offered to people for free, I would say go to the literacy council and and learn to read and write. It's 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 not that hard once you you know put your mind to it and once you give it a, you've got to give it time, and and once you do the payoffs are huge. Like they're just huge. Like every every week I come here or every time like like you said earlier I, I get that every time I get that I, I, I mean it's it's a, it's a high it's a rush and it makes you feel really good um, it makes my tutor feel really good too because she gets all excited you know and uh, and it's it's just it's just been a lot of and on top of that it really has been a lot of fun like it's been a social thing for me here because I'm not a very social person and I do believe a lot of that has to do with the fact that I I was illiterate and now I'm becoming a lot more social, and um, it, it's, the payoff is huge. I can't, I can't emphasize that enough. And, you know, you, you just can't go through life without reading and writing. I mean, it's impossible. I don't know how I lasted this long. And furthermore, I mean, I guess uh, my advice to anybody is don't wait. Mm -hmm.